There is no getting around the basic realities of geography. People in rural communities live farther from specialists and hospitals. If the average person without health insurance is reluctant to go to the doctor unless they are sick, they are especially reluctant if the doctor is 100 miles away. How about uh, 26? This, all he told me today is that he wants to stay here until he gets better. Well, As of, and he, he can't shoot over no, he, Obviously, he's got his multiple handicaps. At the University of Louisville Glasgow Family Medicine Residency Program, a program that was established to attract physicians to practice in rural communities, residents learn firsthand the unique nature of treating patients in a rural community. How are you feeling today? The issue that faces rural health care is the amount of travel time that you have to go, not to get necessarily basic care, although in some areas that, that's a major issue, but also the advanced care that exists for disease states that are complicated. And when one of the hurdles that we face when we refer people within a rural environment into a city such as Lexington or Louisville, you know, you, you, you tend to see on their face almost a paralysis of not only do they have to navigate their health issues, but they have to navigate a different city. Hey, Dr. House. I have a 64-year-old lady. Of Kentucky's 120 counties, 81 are considered provider shortage areas, meaning there are not enough physicians available to meet demand. Training new doctors who want to practice in rural communities is a key focus of the Glasgow Residency Program. I'm from Hopkinsville originally. That's where I was born and raised. And I plan to go back there and join a, a small practice. Uh, I hope to help serve some of the people that, that were part of, uh, part of my upbringing and and also some of the, the uh, new people coming into the community. While it may have an old-fashioned appeal, the Glasgow Residency Program actually is changing the face of rural medicine by teaching residents that they need to move beyond the idea of the country doctor who practices in isolation. We have to understand how we focus on team, because I think team in healthcare is a new concept. We use it a lot, but do we understand it is my question. And I think rather than thinking about individuals in healthcare, it's all about a team, and the team is focused on the patient. We really have to examine everyone's roles, uh, both nursing, nurse practitioners, physicians, physician assistants, and make sure that everyone is operating uh, at the maximum point of their role. This is another one of our branches that come out, come into this road, and a lot of our people live up in there. This is the grocery store. This is the pharmacy right here. And then you have people who live so far out, they can't walk to the drugstore. Advanced registered nurse practitioners, also known as ARNPs, are one vital but currently underutilized resource in rural health care. Jerry Hatfield is an ARNP in Phelps near Pikeville, about as far east as you can go in Kentucky. She provides nearly all the primary care in her very rural community. We provide care for just about at least one family member from 90 percent of the homes in the area here and um, sometimes the whole family. Yeah. Well, it means quite a lot to be able to I uh, work with families and friends and uh, people you grew up with and people who watched you grow up and uh, people you're watching grow up. It means quite a lot to know them and their families and be invited into that family that way. I see that you got your MRIs done at the hospital. Yeah. Uh, did they help you with paying for yeah. those? Okay. All right. Um, I think we got some good information for your disability. 47-year-old Deborah Roberts, like many rural Kentuckians, is uninsured. With multiple health problems, she depends on Jerry Hatfield to help her obtain outside services. She helps me get some of the tests I need done through the hospital. She helps me with my medication. Um, she really talks to me and, you know, takes the time to listen to me. You take it, you put it up to your mouth, you squirt it, take a big breath in, hold it as long as you can. A lot of the doctors that I've seen, they don't really take the time. They, uh, they come in, they discuss a little bit, and they're gone. They don't, 
ever personalize with you. Hey, will your children be coming home for Christmas? Uh, no, they won't be coming home this year. Will any of Carl's be coming? I call her a doctor, yeah, but she's a nurse practitioner. But to me, she's a better doctor than any doctor I've ever seen. I do lots of teaching, um, especially in this town. Patients in the past have not had a lot of teaching about prevention and uh, management, and they typically don't trust people in health care. And I kind of bridge that gap for them as well. Each time you smoke and you breathe the smoke in, you keep your lungs irritated and inflamed. I think we're making progress in prevention and management. For a long time, people back here, their idea of going to the doctor was a little country doctor down the road. You would go in when you had a sore throat, he would give you a penicillin shot and you went home. And people still come in and say, I'm sick, I need a penicillin shot. Maybe they don't have anything that penicillin would even work on, you know. And then you gotta educate them. Penicillin's not the answer to everything. I really didn't care a whole lot for going to the doctor or hospital. I really didn't care for that. I still don't, but when you get sicker, you have to. I guess my biggest message in regards to nurse practitioners would concern those that think that we replace the physician. We don't replace the physician. We work in addition to the physician. There's many, many things that we can do that the physician does. There are things we do not do that the physician does, but we recognize that limitation in our scope and we recognize when to refer on. As we look at improving health status of, of Kentuckians, we're not going to have enough family physicians to provide the care as in today's model we see being provided if we're going to change the health status. And, and so that there's really, in my view, there's only one group that has the potential to do that, and that's advanced registered nurse practitioners. They really are going to have to be the leading edge for improving health in this state if we're going to do it.